Today we will show you how to fillet and cure Japanese hog feet. Sayori. Hello everyone, this is Yuri and Akira. Desu. Today we will feature Sayori half beak, a lovely fish to enjoy best over the winter time till around March. Now let's get prepping. First of all, bring its upper side towards you and cut off the back fin. Top tip is to lay Sayori so that fin will stick onto the chopping board. This way it becomes easier to cut. Do the same for the anal fin. Next, get rid of the scale. Sayori doesn't have many scales compared to fishes like sea bream, but watch out for places like its back and belly. Now, chop off the head. Lift up the pectoral fin and place the knife. Chop it off straight. That simple, right? Let's get rid of the belly fin too. Insert your knife in between the fin and the body. Hold the fin with your knife against the chopping board and lift up the body with your other hand. Now, slice its belly along this line running here. Stop from around where anal fin was. Lastly, cut off the tail. Let's clean out Sayori's guts in the sink. As you can see, Sayori is a beautiful fish, but once you open its tummy, you can see that it's pitch black inside. In Japan, there is an idiom called haraguroi, a word to describe that one is black-hearted. Because of Sayori's characteristic that it has a black gut, some people refer to a pretty but evil-minded person as this fish by saying, she is just like Sayori. Poor Sayori. So, let's make sure to wash its black guts very, very well. Now, let's move on to harabiraki. Insert and slide your knife along the upper side of nakabone, the backbone. You can now open it and see how backbone lies along the body. Then insert the knife right beneath where the backbone lies and slide it all the way until the end. Next, shave off the harabone, the belly bone. Insert your knife diagonally along the bone. Make sure not to shave off the meat as this part is nice and fatty. Now let's get rid of all the small bones. We call this kobone or chiaibone. Sayori has lots of kobone along here and here. As Sayori meat is firm compared to other fishes, you can pluck out its bone against how it's growing. It is much easier to do it in this direction, so take the advantage of Sayori's firmness. Start from the head side and keep going. Akira-san is going fast, so let's ask him to slow down for just a bit. Touch to check whether bones are plucked out. You can feel a prick if there are leftover bones. While Akira-san is busy plucking out kobone, here are three points you should check when picking a good sayori. A fresh sayori has a bright red jaw. Brighter the color, fresher it is. Pick one that's firm. Also, Avoid one that has dried, wilted fin. There are two types of sayori with a name that describe its shape in Japanese. Enpitsu, pencil, refers to a size that is small. It is about 20 cm. Kannuki, a doorbell, refers to a big one about 40 cm. This is said to be the high-end sayori. Once all kobone has been taken out, Let's sprinkle salt on sayori. Let's start from skin side up. When sprinkling salt, lightly but thoroughly is the key. Flip it around and do the same for the other side. Leave it 15 to 20 minutes for it to rest. Good morning, Sayori-san. You can feel that sayori is nice and tight. Prepare a bowl, 
and wash it for about 5 minutes under running water. This process is called shionuki. We do this to wash away the sliminess and the saltiness. Get rid of water by using any towel. You can enjoy sayori roll, but today we will show you authentic style of serving it at high-end Edomae Sushi restaurant. We will cure sayori with kelp, kobujime. Oh! Make sure to cover sayori up completely with kombu. Wrap it up, then store it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours with a light weight on top. Let's see how our sayori is doing. The greenish color of kombu seaweed has transferred onto sayori. This is a sign that it's been cured perfectly. Feel free to enjoy this as nigiri sushi or simple sashimi to go with sake. Texture is plump and the taste is very delicate with a hint of kombu flavor. You might not spot it very often, but if you do come across this gorgeous fish, give it a try. Or simply come and try with Akira-san. When a guest asks for sayori, I feel that person is a sushi connoisseur. In Japanese, two desu ne! Thank you and arigatou! See you in the next video!